All right, there's only two rules to watching this video. One, please do not mind the mess. This is where I do a lot of experimenting and so forth. And two, do not mind the jumper cables that do just as well of a job as any other cable uh, as far as connecting the batteries together. That being said, um, I was in Harbor Freight the other day and I found this little puppy, which I had never seen before. And all it is, is just a 100 watt solar panel with a connection uh, that we're seeing right here. That's it. Now, I live in a condo. I can't put stuff outside. This is the best I can do. So I'm hoping that I'm reaching a uh, minimum, you know, a little bit less than 200 watts. These four panels together are 100 watts. This one panel is $100 that I saw at Harbor Freight. So I said, screw it. Why not? Now, you do have the capability of using uh, your good old setup to actually put it, uh, this is the wire, but it does have a connection to where you can actually put it um, into this left side of the charge controller and have it charge. So, um, after looking at it for a couple days and so forth, I decided, you know what, let's just get the hub. Not that expensive. I think it was like maybe 12, 15 bucks. Let's plug, it's, a four, it's for 400 watts, so we're good. We have 200 watts going into here. And then the 200 watts go in, you know, they all connect together and go into here. And with that green, you know, and it, today it's actually pretty cloudy out. Holy shit. Uh, I'm looking at something else. Um, so as long as I see my lovely little uh, black arrow pointing towards the battery to charge it, uh, charging the batteries, then uh, I'm okay with it. So I've tested it every which way. I've, <laughs> I've plugged the new one up there, the white one. You know, I, I did plug it into here, and I had the other ones run into here. I would plug, I would take one out, it would still charge. Uh, I would take this side out, it would still charge. It didn't matter, but I figured, hey, what the hell? Let's uh, let's try, and, you know, <laughs> let's let's get 200 watts in this. So, just to specify to make this very simple. Um, it's, uh, I know it might be complicated for some people if you're not paying attention, but on the hub, there is special lettering, if I can, if I can see it, Jesus Christ, uh, that says output. That's where the output goes. The output goes from here into the, uh, solar input that's it everything else can go everywhere else so you can plug whatever else you want in here but this hub cannot exceed 400 watts so we're good right now and then obviously the middle ports are attached to the batteries now i think i did explain in one video and in order to um you know, distribute the charging a little bit more evenly. Um, doesn't matter what color, but I have black on the first battery and I have red on the last battery. So uh, it distributes the power a little bit more evenly instead of just sending it to one and then having that in charge of sending it to all of these. So um, at the moment we have uh, one, two, three, four, five batteries. We have, and they're all 12 volts, uh, 35 amperes. So, what does that tell us? So 30, 70, uh, 
140 plus 30 is 175. We have 175 uh, amps, you know, when it's at 12 volts. So there we go. We're past that. So now whatever 175 times 12.3 is, um, I don't have a calculator on me, but whatever. All I know is that if I can get to 15 volts, which I will uh, sooner or later, um, you know, not even 15 volts. If I can get uh, even up to like 13.5, um, I should have no problem charging that air conditioner over there. Now, um, I would check your local Harbor Freight for this. Um, this panel itself, um, to be honest with you, um, on a number scale, we'll say that this panel is a 10. <clears throat> On this scale, the four panels that they give you, uh, we'll say there are six. This is absorbing way more power than all four of those combined. So that's 100 watts versus 100 watts right there. So that one panel, which is 100 bucks, is absorbing much more energy than these four panels together. Interesting, huh? So, my idea is, uh, you know, <laughs> obviously I wish I could put these outside. That would be freaking fantastic. But I can't, I'm limited to the space I have. I don't want the outside to look like trash. So I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna use it for whatever I can use it for, so. Um, bop, bop, bop. So from there, um, and what's interesting is this actually, uh, this Thunderbolt solar 100 watt solar panel is, I just looked and maybe I didn't look correctly, but it is actually not even on the Harbor Freight website, which I find very interesting. I feel like I should have bought two. So, uh, let's flip it around. It's really not that it's really not that big either. So uh, I guess roughly the size of the two that come with the major kit, roughly. So please tell me you didn't hear that because every time I do a freaking video, there's always some kind of noise or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, when flipped the right way, so obviously it does have, you know, where you. You could, you know, obviously put it outside and uh, pull these out and lead them, lead them back. That's always the best way. So my way, what I have to do is get my uh, Stretch Armstrong guy here, this big black pole over here, to make sure that nothing falls over and crashes in the middle of the night. So... Uh, good old Amazon Basics. Actually, it was only like 20 bucks, so it wasn't too bad. So the only room I have left now, <laughs> only room I have left now is up here, which kind of sucks um, because I would love for this to be outside and getting. Um, but believe it or not, this is actually getting. Uh, it's actually charging the uh, the batteries from. Uh, sunrise to sunset to sunset. I'm just in a I'm just in a good position um, to be able to do that to be able to receive that um, sunlight. Now, um, comparing these comparing this to the actual Thunderbolt kit, which usually runs the Thunderbolt kit is a hundred watts. Um, you know, it comes with those four panels, it comes with the charge controller, it comes with some lights, and some other stuff, really not, that I don't even use. So, um, I figure, you know, as I continue doing this, uh, why not slowly get rid of these panels, add the 100 watt panels instead, and get 400 uh, it'll be close but at least i could get 
300 instead of 200 watts out of this <laughs> for myself. Obviously, for you, for those of you who can use this outside, um, you know, you can get a bigger hub and you can put up to, um, you know, a thousand watts into this thing, which is fantastic. So, um, I wish, you know, well, in the future that'll happen, but right now it is what it is. So, as of right, so as of right now, the only reason this is even at 12.3 was because I did have it at 13.5. I plugged my lovely air conditioner into here with my multi with the my plug-in multimeter, and it read um, even as it powered on and so forth around 800 watts. Now the inverter that I use over here is uh, for 15 watt 1500 watts, so it worked perfectly. I th I actually thought I was going to need something more, so and now I have another AC. Um, in my living room that actually requires less power even on the startup. So it's really nothing. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, doo -doo -doo. Was there any other reason I brought you into my little lab here? Um, no, that was really it. I would really, 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 really like for you uh, diehard uh, Harbor Freight uh, Thunderbolt collectors here to check out and find this Thunderbolt solar panel, um, you know, 100 watt, this 100 watt panel for yourself. There you go. There's the item number 57325. There's the UPC. And like I said, at Harbor Freight, it costs $100. And as of uh, May 30th right now, the whole... 100 watt system that you see here is actually 179.99. So of course we always get it when it's two hundred dollars, but is what it is. So and then just from those of you who haven't watched any of my previous videos, um, there really isn't anything too complicated to work with here, and that's what I love. I love simple. I absolutely love simple here's our charge controller so this is what i miss about what i miss about the old char charge controller is it showed me how much voltage was coming in regardless if this was plugged into the battery once this is unplugged from the battery the screen goes the screen goes blank and that didn't used to happen with the old ones so uh, they still sell them on eBay at like outrageous prices. Uh, I believe they're called like marine, they're uh, like a marine solar panel. Um, I forget, it might be like 45 watts, but they're super expensive. But if you can find that their old charge controller where it has like a cigarette adapter in it, it might even have two. But that is definitely the way, that is definitely a way better charge controller than, you know, having to monitor the battery at all times. But other than that, uh, this thing's perfectly fine. So, obviously, when the black arrow is on and you see the battery charging, that's good. So, uh, right now, I have all of these batteries connected as one single battery so the voltage is all the same all the voltage is uh 12 volts um well all the amps are increased by five so and like i said in charging the battery so this is where it comes from the one i mean you can put it on either side whatever you want on the last battery here's the red and on the first battery Here's the black. That's it. Just to distribute the power more evenly. And the reason that I did buy uh, these 35 amperes, which I would actually prefer to buy uh, higher ones, was because it was more of like a, um, you know, it was kind of like a buy one, get one free or, or buy one, get one 50% off. So I figured what the hell, you know, pretty much so. Uh, I think the first one I just bought by itself, and then these four, it was like buy one, get one half off, buy one, get 
one half off. So, and I also have to look for, <laughs> have to look, well, not right now, but I have to look forward to moving and what the hell I'm going to do with all these. So, my suggestion uh, for everybody is getting this solar panel, getting the hub, or you don't need the, if you don't want the hub, just connect it directly into the, just connect it directly into these holes uh, and you'll be perfectly fine. I just leave them, I just like leaving them wide open um, strictly for, um, you know, anything else that I may need to plug into there um, that may or may not fit into the hub. So mostly everything's like that. I don't know exactly what it's called, but mostly, mostly every solar um, input is like that. So, um, but this thing, that thing is pretty sweet. It's very light, um, which is why I have no problem using, you know, tightening basically what is a shower curtain just to keep them all holding, just to keep them all, you know, holding up especially. Um, and then, like I said, just from running these five batteries, um, you know, roughly around 13 amps, um, I mean, roughly around 13 volts and each running 35 amps, um, I'm more than capable of running that AC, which is about 800 Watts. So remember when dealing with a wattage, you are, if you, whether it's AC or DC, obviously anything to do with batteries and solar panels is all DC, but there really is not a huge difference in um, in the power capacity, if the capa if the power capacity says um, 100 watts uh, AC or 100 watts DC, just consider it the same. It's really it's they're basically identical. DC is technically a little bit less, but unless it's some unreal number, you'll be perfectly perfectly fine. So. Um, I hope this helped you out a little bit. So the biggest thing was just for you guys to check this out in case you haven't seen this because I was very surprised to see this. So, and I was hoping to buy two, but just wanted to see how the one would fit in the window. And then, uh, you know, once we get onto my own spot, have about 20 of these guys running outside. So, um, ba 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 ba. Other than that, there really isn't that much to explain. Hub simple. Um, all four of these, all four of these uh, solar panels connect to uh, connect to one device, and then that one device uh, goes into here. That simple. This is obviously from our new 100 watt uh, white solar panel. And then there's a plug from the output that goes directly into the charge controller. And then you just let it go from, just leave it alone, let her charge. Uh, obviously, if it's outside, it's way better. Obviously, if it's on a tilt, it's way better. Obviously, if it's brighter, it's much better. So, but uh, definitely check out the 100 watt solar panel. So. Um, I really hope this helped you guys in some sort of way, shape, or form. Even if you got 99.9% uh, nothing of what I've said, at least try and find that. So that'll help you out a little bit. So, all right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And if you do need a higher power inverter, they do. Obviously, that's a 1500 and you can buy... You know, you can buy anywhere from 10000 to 15000 It doesn't matter. But, you know, the higher, the better, just in case. So, all right, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.